Hi guys, welcome back to the shop. Hey, we're going to put something in this hole. Right here. Let's get on it. I'm going to get another punch. I got one, but then it's not enough to do the job. Well, this one's being kind of a pill here. This bottom one down here, of course, gets the uh, skid plate on it, so I'm going to leave it loose. There we go. Okay, looks like we can get our tubing cut off here now. It's kind of hard to judge it, but we'll make it a little extra long right now, I think. Yeah. All right. I'll trim her just a little bit more. We'll get our clamp started. Give me a pair of pliers for those. All right. And we've got the wire running up just behind the frame here. And it'll go up to meet this piece right here. Actually, it looks like I may, nope, that'll, that's, that'll do, that'll do it. Mm. 
and then we'll just tie it to the frame rail there. Okay, the main harness, uh, most of it is taped, and you saw me rework some uh, other harnesses the other day, the, the uh, handlebar harness. This one has a couple of really short ones coming off of it that I repaired. This is the one going to the horn, and I just cut it off and put new, new uh, sleeving on it and put some new ends on that one. And on this side, we've got uh, this split off. This is the power wire. Uh, not right off the top of my head do I know where these go, except I know that this one goes here. Uh, but that's going to take our power wherever we need it. And I replaced this one back here going to the uh, resistor and let's see the one going to the brake light switch right here got a new sleeving on it it's just the, the pieces that come off of it see this is the original uh, part number tag that's on and you can see that that's the original uh, tape there and just a little bit forward here and toward the back here is new tape. Actually, the, uh, the, this harness looks to be in pretty good shape. Hadn't been cut or anything except right here where it goes to the battery. I've got, uh, I've got to put a new end on there and one on the ground side, which will probably just go down here somewhere. The, uh, the main part of the wiring that is uh, a problem is from here forward and down to the switch. The switch was completely, uh, the key and uh, tumbler was completely gone and it was real hard to, to source this switch and I still don't know whether I've got it or not. Okay, here's uh, a ground to the coil and this is the hot wire from the coil. And we've got the horn going up here. And these will be the wires for it. Finishing up the signal lights here. Well, they're on there anyway. They're certainly not hooked up. And now we can get our coil hooked up and you just kind of want to make sure that you got enough length here to, to go to the other side if you need to. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with about right there I think. That should, should work. Cut a little off of that. And I'm going to put a little rue glide on the, on the boot and so I can get that up there. And it probably still won't go all that easy.
thing with the roof light is it it's so slick then you can't get any traction with your hand there I think that's far enough and we've got us a new new spark plug boot and these just screw on they've got a screw in there just kind of like a wood screw that screws into the the end here where the wire is this is the coil that you may remember we rebuilt put the new well didn't rebuild the coil rebuilt the put a new wire on it all right it should be good There. There you go. Get our newly resheathed handlebar switch. about time to get the old carb on this is can be a pain trying to get the air cleaner boot hooked up we'll see how much of a pain it can kind of be a pain just getting this nut on here Be careful tightening down your carburetor once you've got your new O-ring in. You gotta remember that it's it's kind of pushing out on it a little bit now, so you don't wanna overdo things and break an ear off your carburetor. So evenly tighten it up. And don't over tighten.
Now trying to get your boot on is, uh, it is a pain in the butt, like I said. The best way to do it is not to try to put your clamps on. These clamps come, uh, you can unscrew them and pull them apart and put them back together. So no use trying to mess with all that while you're trying to get this boot on. And the easiest way to do it is to just warm it up a little bit. So it makes it nice and pliable. And you may have to do some more of that as you go along. Well, it's this side. You can go around the other side. And you can get you a little tool like this. Be careful with it that you don't stick your fingers for one and you don't want to stick the rubber either. Just get it in there and, and kind of roll it around just like that. It's already up on the back and there it is up on the carburetor. So now we all, ha all we have to do is take the the clamps apart and uh, install them. Okay, and uh, I believe the screw goes on the other side, it's the easiest way. Just pull it apart and don't mess with it back there at the back until you absolutely have to. Go ahead and get your screw reinstalled. And slide it up and yeah, I probably got it too tight. And just give it another look and make sure everything is lined up as it should be and snug her up. Doesn't have to be terrible tight. And then do the same with the carburetor clamp. Actually, I think that needs to go on the bottom. And I kind of like the screws to uh, the other side. So we'll flip this around the other way.
I'm actually kind of thinking all I needed to do was rotate it. Here I am doing things the hard way. There, there we go. Now it's down where it needs to be. That's where I want it. And I don't have the engine bolted or tightened up yet in the frame. So I'm seeing it move and you probably are too. We'll get there. Hey guys, I think that's about all I can do today. Uh, I've got I've got this cover up on the bench. I'm cleaning it up. I've got to paint it and put the all the uh, selector uh, gear in there together. And uh, I've got got the oil pump in. Get get the cables in. Throttle on. Got most of the wiring ran. I've got to work on a switch. Uh, getting some of the stuff into the bucket up here. Got the signal lights on, the handlebar switch on, and the levers. Um, still got to work on the throttle a little bit. Got the signal lights back here in the back. Just got to hook those up. I don't know what all that's going to entail yet. So you can see we're coming along pretty good. I had a little chore here on the brake light switch up front. Uh, it was broken when I when I received the bike and I was able to get the little plastic piece here and the new screws. That's all I needed in there I believe. And the other day we put the new sleeving on but these levers are aftermarket and in order to get the, the little piece in that follows, uh, you know, that moves the switch here, I had to do some filing on the inside of the groove of the lever. Uh, these are aftermarket, they're not Suzuki. I don't even think you can get them from Suzuki anymore. So, you know, I, there again, I appreciate the aftermarket, but uh, you just generally have to work on stuff that you get that's aftermarket a little bit, tweak it. But I do appreciate having it because it'd be a, a terrible world without it. But anyhow, you can see that we've gotten a lot of the little pieces and bits back onto the bike and it's, uh, it's looking a lot more complete. I am still working on trying to get some uh, paint if anybody knows where they can get this uh, green paint, I, I'm not sure of the name of it now. I asked on one of the Suzuki forums the other day and I haven't heard anything back as far as uh, uh, where you can get that. Uh, I'm probably going to have to call Marble Motors. I hate to because it's so expensive, but that's, that's uh, probably where I'm going to have to go to get it. Unless my local guy can and hook me up and make something just close. You have it guys. Uh, pretty complete. I've got about everything done that I can do right now. I've got a lot of stuff that going on on the bench up there. 
I've got to make a aftermarket, there we have that word again, switch work with an original because you can't get the originals. If you can, they're two, three hundred dollars and it's just, I, I think I can make this one work. It was a kind of a strange deal. I had to, uh, most of the switches out there for these bikes are four wire switches. This one is a nine wire and I had to go to Thailand to get it. And I wasn't sure what I was going to end up with when I got it, but it looks pretty close. I've just got to get it up on the bench and do some uh, looking and maybe some swapping wires around. So I'll take you along on that ride too. But anyhow, for this, uh, this video, it was just kind of a get some nuts and bolts back on it and there'll be a lot of tweaking yet to do uh, to get things right, you know, uh, routing, cables, electrical wires, that sort of stuff. It always, you always look at it and have to decide later, hey, I got to move it to here or whatever. But you all know all about that. So for now, thanks for going along on the ride, and we'll see you next video.